What's going on, all you perfect followers of Jesus out there? I'm just kidding. None of us are perfect. Matter of fact, I'm convinced that too many of us, myself included, uh, but too many of us carry around guilt and shame for uh, past mistakes and failures and shortcomings uh, to a point that it uh, it keeps us from well, it keeps us from going to church. It keeps us from praying. It keeps us from reading our Bible. It keeps us from uh, growing closer to God because we're carrying around guilt and shame. I'll tell you a little story. Uh, Jesus on uh, the Thursday, the day before the crucifixion, did you know that all of his disciples, after Judas Iscariot, you know, sold him out for 30 pieces of silver, but did you know that all 11 of the remaining disciples scattered and left him? Isn't that crazy? You think about those who walked with him, they talked with him, they learned of him face to face. I mean, I feel like if, if I would have been with him face to face, I would have had more courage. And, you know, sometimes we get down on Peter because he denied him three times, but at least Peter kind of tried to get close. Um, so anyway, all the disciples scattered. And I think about failure. You know, that's us. And all the way up to the crucifixion, Jesus Christ was showing us pictures of grace and pictures of forgiveness and love. And, and laying, you know, the, the fact that he, he was getting ready to lay his life down for his friends, uh, there's no greater gift than that and no greater picture of love. But I think about those disciples and they all left. If you'll fast forward, and we'll talk about this in a few days, but if you'll fast forward uh, after the resurrection, when they all gathered in the upper room, and Jesus appeared with them, it makes me think that even after even after leaving Jesus high and dry, Jesus still pursues us. And so the word for tonight is, don't carry around guilt and shame. Use it. You know, if you feel guilty or, or, or ashamed of something, use it to your to your good. You know, that should be uh, ammunition for you um, so that you don't do whatever that thing is that you did. You know, it can just be a reminder for you, but, but don't let it condemn you. Jesus Christ, all of his disciples left him, but after the resurrection, he went and found them. I just think that's a beautiful picture. So no matter what you've done, no matter where you are, Get your hind in in church and around other Christians who've done the same stuff. We're, we're all failures. None of us are perfect Christians. But we are made righteous by the blood of the Lamb. And, you know, I hope I hope you guys have accepted Christ. If you haven't, it's as simple as believing and confessing that Jesus is Lord. You shall be saved. Everyone have a good evening, and we'll talk to you tomorrow night.